This video signifies the start of a new Wonder Kids journey as we meet Marco Bellini, the Italian born midfielder. He currently plays for the Crystal Palace under 18s, and as he turned 16, he signed his first ever senior professional contract with Crystal Palace. And after signing our contract, we meet with the current Crystal Palace manager, Oliver Glasner as we discuss our future at the club and it is decided that we will be going out on loan to a lower division club in England to get some senior experience. And our agent brought across some options and they were MK Dons, Stevenage and Doncaster Rovers. And it was a fairly easy decision as we joined Doncaster Rovers on a season-long loan from Crystal Palace to play in the EFL League 2. Now, we were the only Crystal Palace graduate from the academy for this season as we are joined by Santiago Martinez, the Argentinian striker, who's also gone out on loan to Gillingham in League 2. There's also Luka Kovacic the Croatian centre-half, and he has also moved to League 2 on loan this season as he is playing for Carlisle United. And the third one is Emil Hansen, the Danish right-back, and he has also come to League 2. If you didn't realise, everyone's coming to League 2 on loan this season, and he is going to be playing for Swindon Town. And the next one is Matisse Dupont, the Frenchman defensive midfielder, as he moves on loan to Port Vale. And last but not least, it is the goalkeeper, Conor Reed, the Irishman, who is going out on loan to Barrow. It'll be interesting to see which one of these Crystal Palace Academy graduates can perform better in their first senior professional season. And as you can see, we have been announced by Fabrizio Romano that we have signed for Doncaster. 66k likes. They clearly like Bellini. And Charlie Johnston, this transfer is an absolute disgrace to the supporters. Charlie, you're a piece of shit, man. And this is our team for this season as we're scrolling through. We'll have a look at how good their midfielders are. So they have two defensive mids, 64 rated, and they have a 58 rated Patrick Kelly on loan from West Ham. In terms of their centre mids, they do have a few options. They have close, 62 rated, Westbrook, 62, Clifton, 61, Broadbent. That's a fantastic name. 59 rated and Bellini, who is 61 rated. We can also play Cam if needed. Our main role is a centre midfielder, but in Cam they have Sabara. So there's a lot of midfielders we have to dethrone, but I back him. I back Marco. And now we can also look at his attributes. So everything is completely randomized. We can also grow weak foot. We can play center mid and cam. I randomized these. We're a holding center mid. Isn't ideal. And we're a shadow striker cam. Bit odd, but fair enough. And now these are our stats. We've got decent pace, 71, 77. Good agility, good attacking positioning. Really low strength because we're not exactly that huge. In terms of our technical, very good at dribbling, very good free kicks, very good shot power, and very good at slide tackling for some reason. And for this next section, you may skip it if you want. I'll put a time on the screen right now to skip to, to skip all of this stuff. But I'm going to be talking about how we are going to grow Marco Bellini because I'm not going to be using skill points and I'm not going to be using the default FC25 growth. We're going to be doing it in the most realistic way possible. Now, what you see on your screen right now is the criteria. I'm going to be taking down every single stat that I can possibly get from the game while I play to keep track of absolutely everything and using those stats to grow our player. Now, for example, it is pretty simple. If we were to complete 500 short passes, we get plus one to our short passing stat. And that goes for everything. Some stats have more in-depth things. Some a bit more simple like passing. But you can see it for yourself if you want to. The links are in the description if you want to try this yourself. Now, to do this yourself, you will need mods. So, unfortunately, if you're on console, I feel bad for you. But if you do play it on PC and you do want to try this yourself, use the links in the description for the live editor and the cheat engine because these are the things you will need to control the growth and to control your player. And this also happens for playstyles. Every single playstyle has a criteria to be able to use the playstyle. For example, if we wanted to have the finesse playstyle, all we would have to do is score 100 finesse shots in our career and we will unlock it so then we will be able to use it. And also with player of the months, player of the years, they will all give bonuses as well. Our manager will be giving us monthly summaries to summarize our performances over the month. Obviously, we won't be going through every single stat that I've recorded every month. 
So if you want to see the more detailed stuff, just open up the spreadsheet and uh, maybe don't spoil yourself because all the information will be there of recordings that have not been released yet. So please be advised. And I'm very excited to get into it. So let's get it started. And here we go. Marco is getting his debut off the bench. And it looks like we're playing a 4-2-3-1 with the two midfielders being defensive mids because we're playing defensive mid. That's not what I signed up for, but we're bloody doing it. And we're playing against Tranmere. They're down to 10 men. 10 minutes left. We're down 1-0. Can Marco be the difference for Doncaster? His first touch on the ball. Uh oh, or not. <laughs> okay, just steal that from me, brother. I thought that was mine. Go on, play him in. Oh my god, he's... Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going to get used to this bloke because that was slow. And I've also got to defend. I'm not a fan of that. And also with the realistic growth, if we play CDM all season, then we'll be able to play CDM in the future as well. It will become a role that we can play often. I'm going to do this as, as well as I can. It is very fresh. I've, I've done it before in my life, but not this in depth. Oh, what am I doing, bro? I think I'm a cam. I think I'm playing cam already. Jesus. All right, I've got to sort this out. Oh, look at that. Interception. Marco, well played. I'm, I've got the license. I've got the license to get forward. 100%. 100%. Here we go. Bellini's cooking. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm getting a little bit ambitious here. Thanks, man. Can I play you? Yes! Yes, he's in! It's an assist! An assist on his debut! Doncaster score! Marco Bellini! Who? Bro, this guy looks five years old. What the hell? Okay. Bellini off the bench. Steps up front. Lays it off. And we're back. We can win this game. I believe. Nice ball. Nice ball. Number 10. Play, flip me through. Bellini! Bellini! No, it's saved! No, where are you, back post? No! I'm also on manual passing and manual finishing. So, oh, here we go. Nice ball. Uh, uh, was that a shot? And that's full time. Doncaster 1, Tranmere Rovers 1. We get a deserved point after they went down to 10 men. Bellini with a fantastic debut, getting an assist. Look at the beautiful bloke. The Italian is gonna cook. And we've run into our first issue. Come on. Why can't I look at performance? Why, why can't I look at player performance after coming off the bench? Are, are, you, are you taking the piss out of me? I can't look at my stats? Bro, who makes these games? Oh my god. It's ruined it already. We're cooked. And look at this. Bellini has made the team of the week. But as you can see, Kovacic has also made it the Carlisle man for this season. Interesting. Both Crystal Palace youngsters cook it. And for our second ever appearance in senior football, we are coming off the bench in the EFL Cup against Huddersfield Town. We're now 2-0. We're playing left defensive mid like we did last game. It's not ideal. Why is the camera so different this time? Okay, so the ca I don't know why the camera looks like this. Oh, this is going to be confusing as hell. Back to me, back to me. Yes, yes, into me. Look at me. Look at the space. Oh, that was shit. Bellini. Into me. Play it. Oh, you took too long, bro. I was offside. <laughs> it don't matter, brother. I was offside. Oh, great challenge. Marco Bellini. He's just dominating the midfield. Good chance. Bellini. No. I've been beaten. I've been beaten. Keeper, come out. It's 3 0. Marco Bellini. Got marked. I got rinsed. I'm not a defensive mid. I don't know why I'm playing here. I'm a centre mid. There's a big difference. Nice. Bellini. Dribbling. Still going. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not used to manual passing. I'm not used to it. Let, let me let me get used to it first, okay? Before you judge me. Nice word. Nice word. He's kicked me, ref! Come on. Come, that's it. Yellow. And that's full time. Huddersfield free. Doncaster nil. I mean, it's not a surprise we're going to get knocked out of this. I think we played all right. I mean... We are only 16. The expectation's high. The standards are high, but hey, why you why you look like you're crying? Come on. You knew you're losing this game. And it's time to make our third appearance in senior football. We're coming on for Patrick Kelly as we slot in to defensive mid yet again. We are home for our first game against Bradford City. It's nil all. Hopefully Bellini can make a difference. And I'm really liking this home kit. It's something unique. I like it. Oh, I've been cooked. I've been cooked again. Oh, I'm not good at this role, bro. I'm not. Oh, no. Chance. Keep it. Ooh, good save. Good save. Good save. I'm not I'm not made to play defensive mid. Oh, my God. He's been cooked. Chance for Bradford. Oh, he's still going. I don't even know where I am. Good block. No. 
Bellini, great block, Bellini. That's what he does. Body on the line stuff. Oh my God, I've won that as well. Piss it off. There's no way I don't make that pass. You're not beating me. I refuse. He bit me. But he skied it, so it doesn't count. Wait, what? Still in? Okay. An annoying thing as well is that I don't know how this team plays because I can't really check that, which is a shame. So I don't know really the style of play. I got no idea. We build out from the back. Position based. I ain't got a clue. Oh, look at that run. It's beautiful. Yes, great pass off. Just pa pass the ball to someone. Yes. Can you play me over top? That is a horrific ball. Bellini. No, that's horrible. Oh, I've got to get back. The workhorse. He's got to work hard. Jesus Christ. This is this is rough. Nice ball, Bellini. Nice turn. You've just... You... All my hard work have ruined it. That is not... That is not at all what I told him. I told him to play the fullback. Okay. <laughs> that was... No, Marco, come on. No full time between Doncaster and Radford City. I think we're pretty close to a start. I think I think we're doing okay here. Hopefully it's not start defensive bit. And we are getting our first ever start in professional football. We've convinced the gaffer to give us a go in the team. And believe it or not, we are not playing defensive mid. We are playing Cam, which will be definitely interesting to see what we can do in that position. It's obviously our secondary position we can play. So we're most likely only playing it a decent amount in this career. But it's time to actually prove if we can play it. And we're playing Morkib away from home. Oh, Ballyandy's picked it up. What? What? I was cooking. What? What's been given here? Nice win. Bellini picks it up. Bellini. Great ball. Great ball. No, oh, it's wasted. Do you? Oh! <laughs> it's not a good pass. He played it to me. 20! Oh, you're offside. Come on, 20. We need to combine here. Nice win. Bellini. Into you. Yep. Nice. Bellini. Oh my god, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Where are you going? I wanted to cross to you. Oh, yeah, manual passing. Manual passing. I'm not used to this at all. That was a horrific pass. Number seven, can you find me? Bellini, can you beat that? You're never beating him. Lovely turn. And a shit pass. Okay. I'm trying to be too cool. I just got to do the basics. Oh, that was disgusting. Into me, into me, into me. Yes. Yes, into you. That works. Come on. Here we go. Doncaster, coming forward. I'm supporting you. I'm supporting you. Nice. Nice. Yes. Into me, into me. No. Ah, uh, 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 where's he going? Uh, corner ball. Right on, lads. Oh, my God. Free header. It's in. Doncaster, take the lead. Ironside. What a name. Ironside scores. And Doncaster take the lead. Come on. That's it. Look at that leap. Oh, yes, sir. Come on. Oh, Joe Ironside's the striker. He's who's up front. I've got to remember that. Got to, got to learn my teammates. You know, typically I call them like number 20. I've actually got to learn my teammates. Got to get immersed in this. Oh, shit. I do not want that. A good turn. Hope. Does he hope to score? <laughs> it's a great save. That wide. Okay. I'll just, I'll just like not talk, I guess. <laughs> Great decision. Half time, we lead 1 0 against Morkib. And I think we played okay. I'm really not used to this. Oh, we're playing an 8.2. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I'm bloody insane then. Lovely turn, Bellini. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> Too bloody. What the hell speed was that? You win that. Nice. Ironside. Breath. Whoa! What the. Huh? Come on. Seriously? Oh my god! Shoot! Ironside! Oh, it's a good save. I should be taking set pieces. I got 75 free kicks. What's this? Into me. Bellini picks it up. Into you. Can you play me back? 17! Bellini! It's in! He gets his first ever goal in professional football! Bellini is here! Doncaster 2! More kip nil! Look at that celebration. That is sexy. The Italian strikes. Come on. Beautiful. What a pass from number 17. But then he just takes a touch and just toe pokes it in. Outside of the foot, really. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, what a pass. Oh, my God. Bellini picks it up. 
Oh my god, it's a great ball! Oh, inside! No! He's offside! Oh, look at the creative genius from Italy. Oh, that was class. His head's offside. Little bit, little bit, little bit. That's alright. Good bloody ball, though. Bellini, he's a genius. Nice one. What is happening? Oh, Bellini counters on. Oh, referee! It's a murder! Ah, not even a foul! What? Oh, what the hell shot was that? That was bloody good, bud. And that is the end of Bellini's game. Fantastic stuff from the 16-year-old. Fantastic performance. Excellent stuff. Gets his first ever goal. A 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Fantastic. And full-time, Morkov did get a goal back and goal scores. But Bellini is the difference maker in this game as we win 2-1. And we obviously got announced in the team of the week. What a fantastic performance we had. All right, and... Well, I mean, we got 10 out of 10 performance last time out. We were obviously going to start again. We're starting at Cam again. It's another away day for Doncaster. Away to crew Alexandra. And after our first win of the season, Bellini and Doncaster feeling bloody confident. Get in. Come on. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Easy aerial duel one. Not. <laughs> Just passed it to the... I keep forgetting I'm on manual. That, that's bad. Chance early for Alexandra cooking. Still alive. Sant? Is that his name? Sant? Powell from distance. That's a great save. Nice ball. Bellini. Into the iron side. Yes. Iron side. Can you find me? No. Nice flick. Bellini. Iron side. Lovely. Iron side. Back to me. Bellini. Bellini. It's wide. It's going to be difficult with manual finishing. Bellini. Nice. Wide. I really want this on my left. It's Bellini. No. I, I don't. I can't even shoot my left. I can't pass my left. It's on manual. And you're expecting me to shoot my right. You're crazy. I mean, what's going on? Free kick. Oh, I'm taking it. It's a little bit far out to shoot. We're going to cross this in. It's a nice little dink from Bellini. Nice little dink in there. And nothing happened from it. It's a shame. Beats his man. Ironside into your feet. Nice. Back to Ironside. Nice. Why'd you play it to me? No, I was not ready for that. Nice win. Nice win. Seven, can you play me? Nice ball. It's Bellini. For Doncaster. What a save. No, what a massive chance missed. Nice. Can you play me? Play me. Yes. No. Sh yes. Y yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm panicking, bro. Oh, my God. All right. That was bad. I shouldn't have asked for the ball back. Ah. Uh, yeah, that pass is bad. It's me. It's me. Pull it back. Yes. Bellini. I've got to get used to this. <laughs> I don't whip my analog hard enough. Halftime nil all. I mean, Bellini has been everywhere this game. But unfortunately, our shooting is shit. I mean, they're backing off. Oh, my God. That was actually a good effort as well. Wait, what happened? Ooh, here we go. Bellini. Free kick. First ever free kick. That's an actual shootable range. Bellini, the Italian, from the free kick. Brother's got no power. Oh, it counts as a save. <laughs> we'll take it. I need some shot power. That was awful. Oh, oh, no, straight at the keeper. Oh, my God. How are we not win this game? Nice, give it away. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, my God, they're through. Chance. Good save. Good save, keeper. Yes. They don't deserve to score. They don't. I refuse to let them, even though I'm not playing defensive mid. And I have no impact on that. But, you know, you know what I mean. Go on, Bellini. Yes. No. No, that's bad. I've been beaten. Nice. I've got to be disciplined on defense. I can't allow this. Oh, my God, the counter's on. Why to you. Okay. Nice ball. Nice ball. Nice ball. That's... That's like, that's a Bellini pass, mate. You're on manual. I can see it. Bellini. Lays it off to you. Oh, my God. The football. Bellini. It's in. The football is sexy. Don Castor lead. Crew Alexander can't believe it. It's been coming, mate. It's been coming. Come on. Bellini scores. And Don Castor take the lead. The magician. The Italian maestro. Look at the. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. What a go. That's a. Uh... One. Find me. What the hell ball is that? It works. Laid off. Ironside. That's not Ironside. He's being subbed off. 
Back to me. Bellini. It's Bellini. Oh, my Christ. He must be. Oh, my God. It's still here. Into me. No. Oh, he must be tired, bro. Nice ball. Into me. Bellini. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, I've had like 10 shots today. What's going on? And that is the end of our game. We honestly are about to pull a hamstring. We are so tired. I can barely move this bloke anymore. But what a performance again from Bellini. Look how many shots we had. Oh, my God. We were everywhere today, and we get another goal. And that's full time. Three points for Doncaster. Back-to-back -back wins. Back-to-back -back goals for Bellini. And we are starting to find our feet in professional football, or senior professional football, I should say. Fantastic performance. Fantastic performance. So many chances at goal, except I can't shoot. Yeah, this is a great... Thank you. Thank you, FC. Thank you. That's a bloody good picture of me. Bloody fantastic. Here we go. Ironside has been included amongst the EFL League 2 Player of the Month nominees alongside Taylor Bolton and Marco Bellini. Come on. 6.87 million likes. <laughs> huh? And look at that beautiful image after a great performance in the match against Crew. Bellini is named player of the match. Look at that beautiful photo. Fantastic. So we have been completely rested for this game in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy against Stevenage at home. We drew one all with Westbrook getting the goal. The Athletic has posted top players put in top performances and that's exactly what Bellini has been doing lately. I mean, lacking a bit of spark. King Roman, are you dumb? 50k likes on that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Popular figure that I am. Bloody hell, Marco. And here we go. EFL League 2 Player of the Month Award goes to Bellini. Fans are cheering and wishing for many more trophies on the mantle. No one deserved it more. Thank you, Doncaster. I appreciate it. Bro, this got 4.62 million likes as well. Are you joking? I'm just... I'm amazing. A fantastic display of athleticism. Okay. Absolute explosion of talent. Carter. I appreciate it, man. And now we have received a message from our manager with it being our monthly summary for August. And in this month, we played 218 minutes with two goals, one assist, with an average rating of 8.56, which is excellent. We also had four XG over this month, but we only scored two goals, so we're definitely not clinical in front of goal. Expected assist is zero, because obviously in the game where we got our assist, it was off the bench, and obviously we can't keep track of those. Passes completed, 79% success rate. I mean, I've got to get used to manual. And that's obvious. And we had an 88% success rate for dribble. So clearly dribbling's good, but passing, not so much. And our key strengths observed for this month was our dribbling ability, which is evident by the 88%. Attacking instinct, scoring two goals from midfield. Shows your sharpness in front of goal. Thank you. And passing under pressure. I've noticed your confidence under pressure. Completing 11 out of 18 pressured passes in tough sports show you can handle challenges in critical areas. But I still can't pass in general, but thank you. Areas for growth, defensive contribution. I'm not a defender, Matt. Do not put me in defensive mid. I clearly can't handle it. And expanding passing range because we didn't really play many long balls because simply they're not on, really. There's just no options to, to pass it long. Let's be real. He says, keep building on this momentum and with just a few adjustments, I'm confident you'll grow into an even more complete midfielder for us. And he's not wrong. We're going to be world class. And after winning the Player of the Month award, this is the reward. I've split every single stat into six sections. These six sections are passing, shooting, free kicks, defending, dribbling, and physical. And for our reward, we randomly select one of these six sections and get plus one to every single stat in there. And now I actually forgot to record me doing this, but we randomized it and we got shooting. So we get plus one of these following stats, finishing, long shot, shot power, penalties, hitting accuracy, and volleys, which is a beautiful start to our career. And while we're here, let's have a look at our friends from the Crystal Palace Academy. Connor Reed, three appearances, 5.9 average rating. Not at a good start. Luka Kovacic, oh, four appearances, one goal. Two clean sheets, 6.9 average rating for Carlisle United. That's a good start. And DuPont has played three games for Port Vale, two clean sheets with a 6.7 average rating. So it's, it's very nice that they're all playing, which is very good. Emil Hansen, though, has only played one so far in this season with an average rating of 5.7. That's a little bit disappointing, Hanson. Come on. And Santiago has not played a minute. Elliot Nevitt, 
Two goals, one assist, and four appearances. So he's clearly keeping Santiago out of the team. But that is a little bit disappointing. I expect more from the Argentinian. And now it's time for our next match in League 2. We are hosting Port Vale, which is one of the clubs that has our fellow Crystal Palace Academy player. And Bellini is obviously starting Cam. Two back-to-back 10s -back in the league. Two back-to-back -back goals as well. Two back-to-back -back victories. And oh my god. Back-to-back -back of everything. Let's see if DuPont is playing. I don't think DuPont's playing. I'm, I'm kind of, that's kind of sad. He must be on the bench. That's depressing. Nice. Bellini. Play me back. Into me. Bellini! No, it was a good save. It was a good shot, though. Oh, we're on, we're on set. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. It's assist central now. Ball into the mixer. Ball into the mixer. It's off the line. Bellini's cooking. Bellini's cooking from the set piece. What a ball. Nice win, Bellini. Beautiful. Why'd you pass it there? Oh my god, I've won it again. And then I don't start. My luck is not existing here. Nice. Bellini picks it up. Bellini's gonna have a go. He's gonna run at the defender. It's a good save again. Bellini is on fire. Oh, what a ball. Bellini. Oh, I can't get there. Penalty ref, he took me out. Oh, what a ball. What a ball, what a chance. It's Port Vale. They're in, it's a great save. What's his name? Lawler. Some interesting names of this team. I like it. Oh no. Oh no, it's in. It's in. Port Vale lead. Garretti. Garretti. <laughs> what a name, bro. I don't see DuPont on the bench either. He might just not be involved. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. I wanted to cook him, to be honest. Nice ball. Oh, he's not there. <laughs> I, I thought he was there. My mistake. Clearly, I need to get up my vision. That's what I need. Those are the stats I need to get up. I mean, yeah, I've bet him. We've absolutely cooked him. I've cooked him as well. <laughs> back to me. Back to me. Bellini. He's cooked him. No, where's Einstein going? Bro, I was going to play it flat across, and he decided to run away. Not helpful, Matt. And it's half time. It's 1-0 Port Vale. And that is not ideal for Doncaster. I think we've played well, though. Individually, of course. We're playing 8.6. Oh, my God. With a second coming of Perlo. Come on. Oh, that's poor. That's poor. Given away. It's Edwards. It's a chance. He's going to get two. No, he isn't. It's a good save. All into no way he's going to do it again. Oh, my God. It's off the line. Oh, my God. He nearly got two. Can you win that? You can. It's Bellini. Oh, I've cooked you. No, I haven't. I thought I beat him. No. Oh, my God. He's cooking. It's Patton. Patton. Twinkle toes. Patton. Curtis. From distance. It's over. Bellini. Garrity, mate. You ain't got anything on me, fella. Can I play you? No, it's poor. Nice, Bellini. Good pass. Oh, sit him on his ass. Here we go. Bellini. Bellini still. Bellini still. He's still going. Penalty. Penalty. Ooh, I don't think I'm being murdered. Oh, that's an attempted assault. What are you talking about? That is assault, not attempted. He, he tried to hurt me. Here we go. VAR. We've got VAR involved. Is there a touch on the ball? Let's see. I get that touch there. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Am I seeing a touch here? Oh, there is. There is. But he's already taken me out, though. I mean, look. Whatever. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. It wasn't a penalty. Piss off. Oh, <laughs> get ready, man. Get ready. You're getting cooked. No. No, that's... It's not really what we wanted in that situation. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. It's a chance for Paul Vale. Fantastic save. I mean, I don't think we have time to do anything, especially when you're hoofing it to them. And that's full time, 1-0 to Port Vale. DuPont did not make an appearance. Maybe he's injured, who knows? Maybe got dropped because he's bad, potentially. But unfortunately, we could not back up our two back-to-back 10s -back with another good performance as we lose. It's a shame. We really did not have a good game here, as you can see. Tackled by opponent 10. <laughs> that's like triple anything we've had so far. We got dominated. We still played 8.3. All right, for our final game of this episode, we take a trip away to Colchester United, and it's time to bounce back from that defeat against Port Vale and win this game and get a hat-trick, obviously. Chance early, Colchester. Big chance, ball rolling. Good save, comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Oh, give it away. Bellini. No. No. 
way. No way I did not make that through there. His 40-odd strength let him down. Nice, nice. Here we go. Counters on. Play it to him. It's me. Bellini in space. Into you. Nice. Into the striker. Back to me. It's Bellini! Ah! Can I slip you through? Oh, that's horrific. Nah, that's bad. That's just bad for me. Too slow to make a decision. Poor, poor, poor. Halftime nil all. I've been wasteful. I'm going to be honest. Should have done better in the situations we had with Bellini. It's been poor. He's going to go for goal here. That's not a bad effort. That's not. Oh, into me, into me, into me. I'm in space. Bellini! No! I tried to size it up. Maybe we just don't have any curl. I don't know my stats that well. Into you. Nice ball. 20... Yeah, yeah Hurst. No, oh, I, I... I didn't want it on my right. I really didn't. All right, chance to counter. You find me. Nice. Bellini driving at their back line. Plays it wide. Oh. It was supposed to be a wide ball. Chance, Colchester. Oh, what the hell ball was that? <laughs> you know, a little bit wayward for sure. Can we counter? Can you play me? Nice ball. Bellini in space. What can he conjure? The Italian magician cuts inside. Into you. Um, play me. Yes, I'm in. Bellini! No! No, that was the chance. That was the chance. And I wasted it. And that's full time. Nil all draw against Colchester. We had the chances. We did not take them. But it's been a positive start to his career. Look at that. Five shots to one. All shots were uh, from yours truly, <laughs> as usual. But it's a good start to his career. 8.4. Man of the match, as expected. So at the end of this episode, we sit 12, two wins, three draws, and one loss so far this season. We've got nine points at the moment with Walsall currently leading the league unbeaten with 14 points. In terms of our star, seven appearances total, two goals, one assist, average rating of 8.68. Incredible stuff. In terms of our parent club, Crystal Palace, oh my god, they are cooking. Fourth place, 10 points after four games. Unbelievable. But that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know anything you want to see. Anything about the stats and what you think I should change about them if you look at the sheets and whatnot and you think this should be that, that should be this. Tell me. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know who your favourite of our Academy graduates is. Obviously, Bellini's number one, but who's your second favourite? But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode with this being basically the most realistic career mode I could ever possibly do. And let's hope it goes well.